What is the most productive way to unload a container of boxes? We compare four methods and measure them precisely using computer simulation. I'm an industrial engineer and I spend my life helping organizations improve their processes, their productivity and their operations. When I started my career, improving productivity was often seen in a negative way because it meant people would be losing their jobs. But today, in this era of labor shortage, improving productivity is essential to organization survival. And the best way to do this is by optimizing processes and implementing new technology to eliminate or automate tasks. So I decided to do videos about this to help spread the good word about performance improvement. This video is just one example of a typical industry practice and the ways it can be improved. Let's compare methods of unloading a container of boxes in a warehouse. I'm talking about a container full of stacked boxes as you would typically receive from overseas. The boxes are not on pallets as this would be a different scenario. We want to bring the boxes to an area nearby where they'll be inspected, entered in the system and put away but we're just comparing the methods of bringing the boxes to that area, not what happens after. And we'll make sure to travel the same distance in each scenario. So the first method A, which is the most basic, is to bring the boxes one by one by hand. This is what the yellow shirt here is doing. Then we have method B, which consists of stacking the boxes on a cart pushing the cart to the processing area and bringing back an empty cart. The next one is method C, in which our blue shirt here stacks the boxes on a pallet and calls the lift truck to come and pick it up when it's full. And he continues on another empty pallet during that time. Last method D here, is where the red shirt guy places the boxes on a conveyor. Of course, there are more methods than these. For example, using a pallet and a pallet jack. But let's look at the performance of these four methods. Without a surprise, method A is the least productive and by far. It only processes around 170 boxes per hour while methods B and C process more than double that, and method D processes as much as three times more boxes per hour than method A. As far as the employee utilization, in every case, the employee doing the unloading is working non-stop at 100%. But the employee receiving the boxes works a lot less with method A, because he receives a lot less boxes than the others in methods B, C, and D, which all work about the same on average. But again, we don't show what they do with the boxes and as that's out of the scope of this comparison. So in summary, method A is the worst. Avoid working like this. Methods B and C are similar, except C requires 10% of a lift truck. But if the distance to cover is great, a lift truck is faster, so C is better than B, where you'd be walking with a cart. Also, one could argue that you can put more boxes on a pallet than on a cart, which could be true, but it would have a minimal impact if the distance is short. And then we have method D, which processes a lot more boxes per hour than methods B and C, with the same employee utilization, and without requiring the use of a lift truck. So when it is applicable, it is clearly the best method. But if you really want to improve productivity further, you can replace the employee in the container with a robot, which might not be affordable right now, but will undoubtedly become more so in the future. There you have it. There's always a better way to do things. By the way, if you're wondering what software I use to create the animation, it's a simulation software called Flexim. See the link in the description. Let me know in the comments the subjects you would like to see videos about, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.